Fortnite Creative 2.0 has been one of the most hyped things in Fortnite in the past few years and it finally dropped after loads of delays last Wednesday. Many people in the Fortnite community have been so hyped for this because they all know that this introduces many more possibilities for Fortnite Creative. With Fortnite Creative 2.0 you can import anything that you have made in Blender into Fortnite Creative and you can even add your own script so everything you add can do whatever it wants. And of course the most popular thing for Fortnite players to do in Creative 2.0 is to recreate OG Fortnite maps. And the majority of these are Fortnite Chapter 1 Season 3 maps. And of course, with OG maps, you'd of course need the OG graphics. That's why I'm making this video, so you can know how you can add OG graphics into your Creative 2.0 map. I hope you all find this video helpful, and let's just get into it. And of course, the first thing you're going to want to do is load up the map. And then you're going to want to go into the Devices section and pull out a Skydome device, just like you would do in Creative 1.0. Then you're going to press Customize Skydome. Then change the light source color to beige. Change the light source intensity to 60%. Change the Skydome top color to pink. And finally, go to my island and settings. Change the time of day to 3 p.m. and the light brightness to 100%. And now the graphics on your creative map should look really similar to the ones back in the OG days. Even though sadly you can't get the OG clouds in Creative 1.0, but you can still get them in Creative 2.0, but because I haven't got that, I can't show you a tutorial on that yet. I hope all of you found this video really helpful. To find out more Fortnite leaks and tutorials, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you would like to get OG graphics in Battle Royale, then click the video on the end screen. I hope you all have a fantastic day. Goodbye.